What is going on here? Cherry tomatoes. I like cherry tomatoes. Are they making a salad? Oh, I guess they are making a salad. What is GMO, non GMO? This is going to place in the water like that? Okay. No way. Impossible. There's no way that's going to move like a fish, like a serpent. You know what? As an engineer, I'm going to have to put this theory to the test. Welcome back to J Rule Productions. Today we are going to debunk whether viral video labs watch GMO tomato swim in salt water video is fact or fiction, true or false. So as you can see laid out on my kitchen cart right here, brand new, it's some fruits and vegetables. So first off, what does GMO stand for? It stands for genetically modified organism. Basically, any lab grown DNA altered fruits, vegetables, including even animals. A good example would be the glow, terror glow fish, which glows in the dark. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I have some, look right here, non-GMO baby spinach, all right? And I have some fruits right here. Here is a info about what these numbers stand for. Do you see four numbers right here? On a lot of these fruits see there are four numbers how you can tell the difference is that four numbers indicate is conventionally grown so these are conventionally grown four four five three and this one is uh, four zero five five now if it is five digit number that means it's organic and it starts with number nine and if it starts with number eight also with five digits that means it's GMO now unfortunately I wasn't able to find uh, exactly like GMO, non-GMO tomatoes because that's hard to find. Do you know that corn, majority of them are GMO because it's basically owned by these big uh, farming industries and they control the seeds. We've seen plenty of documentary about that. Corn is the most commonly grown crop in the U.S. and most of it is GMO. Is corn technically a GMO? Almost all varieties of corns grown today including those growing organic production are GMO. Alright so what I'm going to do is cut up some of the peels or maybe even the meat into small pieces and test to see if they actually swim like a serpent or a fish. All right, so I'm gonna cut up this spinach, this non-GMO. I'm just gonna make it easy. If it is, if it does swim like a serpent, I wanna make it easy, all right? And obviously the meat of the apple is too hard, so I'm gonna just gonna use the peel. This is a cosmic crisp, which is conventionally grown, okay? All right, so I'm gonna cut that up into like a small piece all right and these are the two the uh, tangerine what's this called this is camposo even though it's like a new variation this doesn't isn't considered GMO even though it's engineered it's not uh, it hasn't changed the DNA okay but I still want to test it out like this all right And lastly, for the corn, I am going to actually use uh, three components maybe. The skin, or the cover, and a couple of these. That's a good example right here. If, this would, if it was to swim like a serpent, these would be the perfect representation. And I don't know, I'm going to cut up some of these kernels. I don't know how I'm going to do this. So maybe slice it in small. Uh, small increments like that here comes the fun part the actual experiment so i have two ceramic bowls i am going to pour some water this has been boiled water okay so actually it's kind of lukewarm all right you see some smoke even coming out of it okay so what he did was pour some salt in there i have some pink sea salt all right i don't think it does matter how much salt they put so you know what Let's put, that's a good amount right there, all right? Now on the left side, we're gonna put the 
so-called conventional, what he identified as organic. So we're just gonna put that in here. Don't forget one of these are uh, modified, but not GMO, like a, the new fruit peel. And on the right side, I am going to put the GMO corn. Okay, we're gonna put some of these stalks and covers and even the corn pieces in here. All right, you know what? Just to up the amp, I think on another video where he just poured directly into the salad of a tomato, he put some salt over it. So I'm gonna just give this the GMO one because I want this to move. All right, so now I'm gonna bust out the timer. And we're gonna let that uh, circulate for about a couple of minutes. So it's well past one minute mark, nothing is moving on either side. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water, maybe perhaps if I start some reaction, you know, like just to start a little bit of motion going on. Pour a little bit more salt in there. No, that's just dropping and rolling around. So as you can see, it's been well over five minutes and nothing has moved. Nothing on the organic or conventional side or on the GMO side. So this in fact proves that the video is false. It does not move GMO plants or organisms do not move in salt water. So here's the YouTube channel, it's called Viral Video Lab, Too Impossible to Be Real, uh, you can say that again. That was the video they were talking about, the GMO tomato swims like a fish, you see that? When they pour salt on it, not true. So let's go ahead and dive deeper into this video. All right, so they pull it in there. Now pay close attention, guys. Uh, this looks like some type of reflection. So I know there's no reflection at all off here, right? And it looks like the shadow. Now both have shadow, which is pretty impressive, but it looks like on the, the left, the shadow, it's it's uh, more closer to the body where this one is slightly off. I mean, I can overlay a, a like dark uh, uh, video representation and you see how that kind of goes over the edge a little bit of the water. So that looks like it's a mistake right there. And there, additionally, there aren't any ripples. Uh, there should be some surface tension that you can see. What they basically did was overlaid a transparent background uh, motion GIF or video over this video. And they purposely zoomed in and out to make it more realistic. Another proof is that this channel is purely for uh, CGI or viral video status. Because look at this, this is clearly false. One of the top videos, which is 5.8 million views right here of a moon crash. We all saw that like last year and we know that's fake. Look at this, right? So this proves that the video is fake. The channel is just all for fun. They just want to make viral videos. So don't believe everything you see on the internet. 